Hello there, welcome back to this humble home. My name is Sydney and today we're going to be deep cleaning my couch. I had no intentions of filming this video today. Um, I knew I wanted to film it at some point because I always get a lot of questions about how I clean my couch because I always post it on Instagram. But then just before nap time, my recently potty trained toddler had an accident. <laughs> So I'm just gonna do it. I usually do it at night after the kids go to bed because it takes the cushions a long time to dry, but um, just gonna have to bite the bullet and we're gonna have to sit on the floor. I'll put a fan on it or something when I'm done, but uh, you can see the dirt better in the daylight anyways. So this'll be better um, for filming quality and the baby's awake just down there. So I'm probably gonna have to take some breaks in between and stuff, but I am going to give you guys the gist of how I deep clean my couch and you are gonna be so amazed by the amount of dirt <laughs> that comes up out of here. So I clean my couch about once a month and right now it's even dirtier than normal because the dog has been going outside and inside and getting up on it. And you guys, it just gets grimy. I have kids and animals and everything else. So yeah, I try and clean it once a month because it just gets, and a lot of it's just like milk stains, juice stains, and then obviously where my toddler just peed. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like before we get started. Okay, so to deep clean, I use my Bissell Little Green Machine. I bought this five years ago, I think. If you take good care of it, it'll last you a long time. I have had to replace the nozzle because it broke. Um, I use a drill brush. I got a set on Amazon, I think for like 20 bucks. Um, I use Resolve, but they didn't have any Resolve at the store, so I had to buy this last time. And I just use the shampoo that you buy for this thing. Um, I have used just like an all-purpose cleaner in the past, like a concentrate, but I definitely think that the stuff that's made for the machine works a thousand times better. So this is what I use. So the first thing I do is I fill up the holding tank for the um, shampooing stuff. And it has a little line here of, of where to fill the formula up to. And then you fill the rest with water up to here. Because if you fill it too full, then um, the suds get everywhere. So you just remove your little nozzle and hose. straight and fill it up to the line. I prefer to get this stuff with like Febreze in it, but they didn't have any there this time. So I could add some fabric softener into this, but I'm not going to. And you just fill the rest with either cold, warm, hot water. I like to do hot. I'm just gonna fill it up to this line here. Just gonna put your nozzle and hose and the cap back on and then you're just gonna assemble this back into the little green machine so it's really simple um, to snap back in you just turn it upside down and slide it in and then this is where the dirty stuff goes and to empty it out you lift this up pull it out and pour it from the top um, and then I'll show you how I clean this afterwards as well because this needs to be cleaned Dan used it in his truck last time he didn't clean it out after he used it and you can see there's all sorts of stuck on stuff inside there now and sometimes I have to fill and empty this twice while cleaning the couch because the couch is quite big okay so before I even get started showing you how I work the little green machine I like to spray this stuff off first because it is a carpet cleaner so it's going to help just lift some of those stains before I get to using the other one um, like I said, I prefer the Resolve and they didn't have any, so I'm just going to work with what I've got. This is probably my dirtiest cushion right now. You can see it's got just, yeah, I think that's like mud from outside. There's juice on there. This is where I sit and drink my coffee and I'm clumsy, so yeah, that's why this, this arm and this cushion seem to get the dirtiest. So I'm just going to... Oh, this isn't the same as my Resolve. 
The resolve like foams up. Does this not foam up? No, it doesn't, but oh well. And I will literally go through a whole can of this each like couch clean. Doesn't bother me. It's like six bucks. So So just from three cushions, I'm already like, this is pretty empty. So I do have a tiny bit of resolve left. I'm gonna use that on the spot where Sully peed. And then the rest of the cushions just might have to be like a mix of whatever is left in both cans. Um, but I'm just gonna show you how I do even one cushion first. I'm gonna do, need to explain it and then turn on the machine because the machine is really loud. So I just take off my nozzle. So your nozzle looks like this. It has a uh, thing here you press to spray the liquid and then you just kind of get the liquid up by sucking it up. This is a lot of suction in it, but like I said, it's really loud, so I'll um, play some music. <laughs>
my Resolve. This is the one I like to use. Actually, I prefer the one with like Oxy something in it. I get really flushed, guys, when I do things. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna grab my Resolve for that spot of pee. Um, yeah, what I really like about the drill brush, I wanna say, is it used to take me hours to clean the couch um, between um, spraying the shampoo on and manually scrubbing it. Every single cushion would take me hours and hours. Now I can have the entire couch cleaned in like 40 minutes tops. So if you don't have a drill brush, I highly, highly recommend getting one. This guy's been such a champ. Well, mommy's cleaning, haven't you? You've been eating my mom's. Dancing around. Yeah. You're dancing around. Do you want another mama? Yeah? Okay. Dry. 
Um, I'm actually gonna put the one that had pee on it kind of like flip towards the window side so I can get some sunlight. Um, so that hopefully that'll help it dry quicker. Um, and if I come over here, I just wanna show you the dirt <laughs> that came out in the machine. So I did a really quick clean. I usually do like way deeper of a clean than that. But like I said, I usually do it after the kids go to bed and I usually have a glass of wine while I do it. And today it was like, Sally's down for a nap. I've got half an hour. I gotta get this pee up. Might as well give the rest of the couch a quick flick. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what got done today. And as you can see, it is like a back workout guys to like push that wand thing in and get all the dirt up. But, uh, I'm just going to turn you around here now and show you the dirt that comes up out of this. So this is the holding tank. And like I said, I usually go through two of these. I didn't even go through one. So that shows you how quick of a clean I did. Um, this guys is the dirt that comes out of the couch every time even if i do it twice a month like every time the water looks like this just like don't mind i haven't i clean my sink at night so Blech. how gross is that oh my that's so satisfying <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna end the video here. I know I said I'd show you how to clean out the Bissell, but I think I'll do a separate um, video for that one. Um, yeah, so that is how I clean my couch very well. Uh, I'll show you, you can see there's no mud in this one anymore. The arm of this is nice and clean. There are some lingering stains, like ones like this that just kind of like got left too long. I've never been able to get that one out. Um, but yeah, any new stains, I mean, it is gorgeous. And especially this armrest, because this takes a beating and it comes clean every time. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're new here. And if uh, you're not new here, um, hey, hi, hello. I'm Sydney and this is This Humble Home and I hope to see you back here again sometime. Bye.